All right, for some people, today is known as Blur's Day. Get you know, out. When the days kind of just blur together and you can't remember which day is which. It is Thursday? It is Thursday. Oh, yeah. that's good to or, or Blur's Day, <laughs> or as we Blur's just learned. Day, yeah. as we just found out. <laughs> but for our first guest today, it is Thursday, and this is the day that we meet up with him for our PTL Weekend Guide. We want to welcome Sean Collier with his top three picks of what to do this weekend. And Sean is outraged about your Sarah Michelle Geller. Well, no, reference. first he was outraged that you didn't remember well, she was Buffy right. the Vampire Slayer. Then he was outraged that I referenced her as Erica Kane's daughter and all my children. Right? I mean, Heather's, <laughs> Heather's error could be chalked up to a momentary mental lapse. It was sure, familiar but, to me. I just couldn't remember fully why. But all my children, I mean, I think of, I think of the, all of the teen movies. I know what you did last summer in Scream 2. She was in all of those. In addition to Buffy... I was like, all my children. I was it's like busy. naming what commercial they were in when they were 12. Right. I was, right. well, shouldn't I get extra points for that, Sean? I mean, I yes, grew up in the true. 70s and 80s, and I remember we would watch all my children. And that's what when you I remember. was home in, in the summertime, my mom would tune in. <laughs> yeah. You've been like studying the IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to. I have she, it memorized from the was, 70s and 80s. She was on from 1976 to 1978. Don't you remember? Those are the exact years. <laughs> okay, no. All right, we should talk about the weekend, Sean, because otherwise sure. Jill is going to yell at us. Uh, yeah, feel free to uh, feel free to binge Buffy. That's a good choice. Okay, but good. Failing that, uh, several all virtual. As we heard uh, on the newscast earlier, it looks like there's probably some more restrictions coming into play in terms of what there is to do this weekend. So here's an all virtual lineup uh, for you this weekend, starting with Little Lake Theater. Um, they are presenting a very Little Lake Christmas. This starts to, uh, Friday night. Friday night at 7 p.m. will be the premiere online, and you'll be able to watch it uh, throughout the month of December. You can watch it any time. I spoke with Jenna Oberg, who is the artistic director at Little Lake, and what she explained to me is the holiday show at Little Lake has been a tradition for more than 30 years now. Families go together. They have, peak, they have cases where kids have grown up going to these shows, now perform, now are bringing their own kids. It's a big holiday occasion to get everyone together and go to the show. This year, obviously, that's not possible. So they did something very special. They asked their patrons to write their own personal holiday stories, maybe funny holiday memories, special holiday memories, and send them in. And then they gave those stories to a director and an actor to perform a little reading of their patron stories. They said it was a way to bring the whole community in and still really have that feeling of a, the Little Lake family in an odd year for the Christmas show. Wow. That's a neat idea. It is. It really is. Yeah. Um, Sean, something free that's coming up and something put on by the uh, Pittsburgh Opera. Tell us what's going on. Yeah, the Pittsburgh Opera is going to present their show, Soldier Songs, tomorrow night uh, via live stream on Facebook and YouTube. This will only be happening tomorrow night. Well, now, when they announced this show, it was a little earlier in the year, they hoped that this would be the show that could bring audiences back. Obviously, very limited audience, but that was the original plan. Things have gone the other way, as they know. So they instead decided to make this a free show online. And I really like that because if you're not familiar with Pittsburgh Opera, or if you're not really an opera attendee generally, you might not know the wide range of stuff that they do. This is an opera in English. It's a newer opera, and it was based on interviews with veterans of a variety of different wars. So not really the normal opera subject matter. And it's in English. You'll be able to understand it. And you can check it out for free. And the good news with uh, moving it from an in-person to a virtual performance, they've said we're paying all of our cast, our orchestra, everyone as if we had done a full run in person. So oh. they're doing the right thing, keeping everybody safe too. Yeah. That's fantastic. And Pittsburgh Opera, I have attended many performances and there's such a great asset in this city. Uh, all right, last we want to talk about, uh, this is a musical set in New York City, but it's being performed by the Point Park Playhouse, right? Yeah, if people know the Pittsburgh Playhouse, the, uh, the theater company presented by Point Park, great, high-quality productions always. Really, as you just said about Pittsburgh Opera, David, an absolute asset to the city. Now, uh, they are launching their virtual season, and what's special about this one, they're calling it a new multimedia hybrid type performance of theater and film. And they brought in uh, some big hitters to make it happen. They have the Emmy-winning team that was responsible for 
Jesus Christ Superstar Live, you remember the big broadcast performance a few years ago, that's who they were working with to make this so much more than just a Zoom performance or a virtual reading. So really eager to see what uh, Point Park is going to have for us, not only in this show, Ordinary Days, but the rest of the year as they continue to explore some of those virtual options. The still images we're showing are just so intriguing. I right. keep looking at it thinking, how, what is going on here in the boxes? And the, it's, very, it's very cool. Yeah, there's no substitute for the real thing, but one of the nice things we're seeing now more and more is a lot of theater companies and different entertainers are finding really interesting ways to make those at-home performances and experiences a little bit special. Yeah. So that's fun to see. Really neat. All right. Thank you, as always, Sean. Now we know what to do with our weekends. We'd be lost without you. Thank you. Watch Buffy, if nothing else. <laughs> Right. There's, There's the bottom line, yeah. All right, and we will check back in with Sean next Thursday, as we always do for the PTL Weekend Guide.